All right, all right, we back at the Uncuffs playlist. It's your boy DJ Exclusive. And what y'all just heard, man, I just y'all just heard that LL Cool J, I Need Love. You also heard that Booed Up by Ella May. And then we took it all the way back with that Computer Love by Zapp and Roger. I know all my 90 babies feel me with that one right there. And uh, I'm sure y'all done figured it out by now, but uh, right now, man, we finna talk about my love story. So, as y'all remember, man, when I told y'all, you know, when I was on the streets, I was living in a fast life, and all the females that I had when I came to jail, you know, they disappeared, they left. And then, you know, I told y'all about Antoinette, the female that was in the courtroom, that I, one I was with at the time, the one that started screaming in the courtroom. Well, she ended up leaving. She left before I even made it to prison. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, down the line, she ended up passing away a few months ago. So, you know, rest in peace to her. But, you know, along this prison journey, you know, I done had a lot, whole lot of different, you know, different females that I done talked to, you know, different experiences. Some of them good, sometimes bad, you know, but uh, I don't even, I don't have females I don't try to give a chance to and you know, they just wasn't for me. You know, I don't have females that was, that was in it for the wrong reason. You know, females that were just looking for that companionship, you know, they just wanted somebody to talk to and occupy their time. And you know, that, that ain't what I was looking for. You know, I was cool on that. You know what I'm saying? I always told myself that even though I'm in prison, you know, I ain't gonna allow myself to settle for less than I deserve, you know what I'm saying? Less than I want, you know, that just wasn't in me. And, you know, I done had my homies hook me up with females. And, uh, you know, after it was all said and done, you know, it was never what I was looking for. You know, I was always to get on, you know what I'm saying? I was like, skirt, like I'm in a new Dodge Charger or something. You know, I was like too short. I was burning rubber, getting up out of there. And, I remember it used to be times when my celly, the one I was in the cell at the time, you know, he used to be, uh, he had his female, you know, he was getting male all the time. He had his wife and, you know, they had a cool relationship, you know, good vibe, you know, always going out there to the visiting room and join each other. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes. And I always used to say to myself, you know, I need somebody like that in my life. You know, somebody that's down for me like that. And you know, I always stayed optimistic, you know, me. And I used to always tell myself, you know, my time coming soon. So I remember one night when I was praying to God and I asked God to send me a good woman. You know, I want, I want, you know what I'm saying? A woman I could vibe with, a woman that I could build and grow with. And I used to always just sit back and envision myself, you know, with my queen, you know, living life, going out there, you know, to the visiting room, laughing, enjoying each other company. You know, I used to even just think about my future, you know, going home, getting married, starting a family. You know, it's just, these are just things that I wanted in my life. You know, I was just ready for that change, you know, just, you know, manifesting the type of life that I want. So fast forward, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in the cell one day and one man reached out to me and, you know, we get to talking, vibing with each other. And we instantly just click with each other. And we both Pisces too, by the way. You know, that's probably why we could relate to each other so well. Um, her name Latoya, by the way. And, you know, as time passed and everything, you know, was going real smooth. I even remember our first visit, you know what I'm saying? We went out there to the visiting room. You know, we was out there hanging out, chilling, you know, playing games. And you know, I got the whoop on her some spades. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like the first day. And, you know, you know, after time passed, you know, suddenly everything just felt like it started going the way that I wanted to. You know, I finally had somebody that, you know, I enjoyed being around, somebody that I was, you know, really vibing with. And, you know, to top it off, you know, she was exactly the type of woman I was looking for, you know, real goal oriented, solid woman, beautiful, you know, business owner, honest. You know, she even had a good head on her shoulder. And, you know, that's what I was looking for at the time. And, you know, that's what God blessed me with, right? And, you know, I say that to say, that's manifestation at its finest, you know? It's where I'm at today, you know, living, you know, enjoying life. And with that said, you know, I'm gonna play something else for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So let's get to it, man. It's that Couldn't Wait For It by Blast featuring Rick Ross. This the Uncuffed Playlist. <laughs> 